Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today we are back in Spin Tires Mud Runner with Jeep Guy actually. So we're going to be doing a, basically, I'm going to be doing a Let's Play on the bog and we're going to be we're going to be talking we're basically going to start a let's play of the bog at the same time we're going to talk about the game because we both have played so much of the first game it's kind of not even funny how many hours do you have in it now oh <laughs> uh, i don't know i need to find out though over over like at least three days because i know i know i have it uh well over 400 hours into the first one mm. so we're gonna go it yeah, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get the bog started up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a new game. Um, we're both gonna be in casual mode this time out. We're not gonna jump straight into hardcore. <laughs> but uh, first, I mean, I, I feel like we. What? Oh, I was about to say. Unfortunately, we kind of can't play together for the fact that multiplayer doesn't work right now. But like, it's all good though. It's all it's it's all good though because see. What I wanted to do is because technically Jeep Guy, Jeep Guy and I have been playing these games together for so long. It's like he's kind of, a, you know, a, the, it, 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 we've been playing this game together for so long and we have oh, we have experience with it. So he's and he's kind of like a team member of mine since he made so many videos with me in the first game. But I'm going to try and plan out my route and plan out what I'm going to do first. I think, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Huh. No, I, uh, let's see. Where's the garage? Oh, it's all the way on the opposite side of the map. I think I'm going to go oh, ahead and... get used to this new... Oh, the new system? Yeah, this is really weird to me. It's just, hey, it's just up and down on the D-pad. That's literally all it is. Yeah, I know. It's just, I know it is, but it's still weird. It's well, like when yeah. you're selecting stuff for your truck. Oh, the new garage trailer is interesting. It looks like it's got, like, metal wheels. It looks like a train car. Yeah, I did like that. I think that was really cool. I like that he's redone a few little tiny things. The, uh, I need a, I need a hitch because I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the garage semi-trailer down to the, um, down to the garage so I can unlock it in one go. But, oh, also, um, what do you think of the first-person view? I have not, uh, how? Ow. Press down on the left, uh, press, press down on the left stick, so click the left stick. <gasps> oh! <laughs> this is one thing, this is one thing, uh, tutorial did not teach me. The, they, they don't let you do that one in the tutorial, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is got a little HUD. Oh my, I love it. When we get, we better. Oh, I like it. I like it too. I mean, it it, it makes it makes sense. It's kind of it, it, it's weird because it's kind of, um, it's kind of like like truck sim in a way, but it's also unique in its own right because it applies. You can put it in any truck. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I kind of like that because implement end of the game. Well, you know what's also cool is how they show um, your diff lock, your all-wheel drive, and your parking brake and your winch all on the dash in buttons. Ooh, have you figured out how to shift gears yet? Because I just did. Well, okay. It, it's not the left stick. It's... What, what is it? What is it now? It, it's, it's right stick, click down, and move right stick to adjust. Oh no, I meant I meant not the left. I meant the right stick, but every time I click the right stick, it takes me to the map. So I'm not actually sure. I might go into the um I might go into the controls, but hey, by the way, which way did you go on the ball? Um, I'm still messing about. What the heck? I told it that I don't want that little A series. Oh, the UAZ? You want it. Trust me, you'll want it. it did they, is it good? It's, it's, it's not bad. It's better than you think. It's better than the, it's better than the first one. And did you see the blue one that's locked? Uh, which blue one? Like in the menu when you're choosing vehicles, there's a locked one and it's blue and it's like, it's built, it's lifted, it's legit. I have not seen it yet. 
Dude, you gotta check it out. Okay, you so, fuel station. So this is is this is this a base map that was based in the game? Hmm. No, it's not. Okay, I thought this was a map we had before. No, none of the like these are all new. These are all like brand new. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right out of the um place and go through a clearing. Okay. Am I allowed to path? Yeah. I'm just trying to go. I'm I'm about to go into uncharted territory. I'm just trying to head to the garage and hoping that the route I decided to take actually takes me there. <laughs> I I just love how optimized it. everything looks so smooth. See, that's what I'm saying. Like when you go through the water, it's when you so go, there, there's no like stuttering, no lagging. I mean, no, of course, whenever we get mods in here, dude. That's what I'm talking do about. Do what? PC, well, on the dude, I'm the PC about, version. Like, mods, mods will get them. The yeah, they're gonna look so good. And the thing is, the the optimization is crazy. It's like I don't know how they quite optimized the game this well, but it runs stupid smooth. Stay on. No, go away. Oh God. Oh dear. See, he's redone it. Redone his sounds, which is really nice. Yeah, I also Truck oh sounds sound really good. No, I don't want to do that. Oh no. crap! I need to get rid of the. Uh... No, do what? Huh? Okay. I'm trying uh, to. If I could get rid of motion blur. Ah, uh, I'm trying to get rid of this path node, but it's like I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Lumber mill one. Can I like get rid of you? No. Uh, the good old trees getting stuck in the body is still a glitch. Gotta love it. Oh, it that... spawned. Oh no, it just went further down the body. New. No! Oh, God, for God's sake. Okay. How do I get rid of um? No! Oh! Them. What? Drive through them. No, I'm... T oh, what? Path nodes? Yes. I drove, I've drove. i driven through all mine, and they've all disappeared. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm trying about how... I'm, I'm, I'll figure out how to get it out of the menu. I'm just trying to figure out how to get it out of the, like, out of the map for now. But it's no big deal. Like, I'm just going to keep driving the way I'm driving. But... <laughs> At the end of the day, I want to get... Oh, God. Because, see, I'm glad I started on the bog in, in this... Like, in the Xbox One version, I started on the bog. Because on the PC version, I started on Island. And Island, by the way, is a completely different map. Completely different. Like, all the maps have their own kind of unique feel now. And you know what else? Have you noticed that the grass is a lot more dense and a lot more, like, real-looking? Yeah, it looks a lot like watch point. What is a watch point? A uh, cloaking area. So like, it's the new name for a cloaking point. Watch point. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm next to the closest one on the. I guess you would say the east point of the map. The. Oh, the w I'm well. Out in the fields. I'm oh, out in the fields. you're over there. Okay, I I took the road. Yeah, I'm, I'm going along the road. You're out there, okay. Also, I don't have the full trailer. I have a garage tent and then the little tiny garage trailer behind me. Well, wait. Well, the tent and then the trailer behind you, that equals four points, right? Yeah. So, we're literally, we're both carrying the same amount of garage points, technically. I'm just doing it in a semi-trailer. You're doing it with, a, uh, with two different attachments. Oh, God. I'm about to... I found a lake, so I'm going to try to go around it if I can. <laughs> I'm quick winching because I got a little stuck on the top of a hill. Just a little. Just a little. I I can't wait. I, I, I got to go download this on my PC like now. <laughs> well, definitely. Dude, definitely once we reach... Dude, once we reach... Picks. 
What? Oh, uh, these graphics, the, like, the bloom and all the effects to the graphics are now, a lot of people are going to be like, what do you mean? But it's bringing me back to, like, the feeling that I get is bringing back to when I used to play MX versus ATVs. Dude, like, okay. The to just go wherever you can go and do whatever you want. So, so I'm not the only one that slightly felt that way. <laughs> no, no, I, I feel like a lot like this. It's, it's like, oh, no, and it's we weird, too, because... Danger tornadoes. Wait, say what? We don't have the clo the the danger noodles, the tornadoes. Oh. <laughs> Are they more like, they're more like, what, well, watchtowers, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, my... Cool. It, um, the map tells you where, um... Where, Dude. Where, like, water is, how deep it is. You would not believe what I just saw. So there was like, I drove through a puddle, right? Truck was kind of spinning its yeah. tires in the puddle for a little bit. The truck leaked a little bit of oil into the puddle and it, sh and it shimmered in, in the, uh, in the water. What? Like, you know how, like, that, that, you know how oil looks when it rises to the top of water? Yeah, it's rainbow colored. Yeah, it, it does that. Bro, this is so cool. But I will also say... How long has he been working on this? I don't know. But I will also say, can confirm these trucks leak oil. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they're old Russian military trucks. If they're not leaking, they ain't running. Yeah, probably not. Oh, God, dude, I'm driving through, like, a legit, like, marsh with, like, reeds and stuff in it. And this is a completely new, like section of environment oh and they're actually like I'm pushing them down like around the truck too that's so cool see this this section right here I think is gonna be a section we're gonna see in a lot of mod maps when people are like dude we need a swamp map and they're just gonna like make make it like a massive version of what I'm driving through right now oh yeah Hey, would you say controller batteries are low? Can't confirm. Would you a? Would you say uh, that you you're are you still happy you didn't go with the semi? The semi trailer? Oh yeah. Cause I'll say, my semi trailer right now it's it it's a little uh it's a little um I don't know it's heavy and it's not very maneuverable. <laughs> well, see, I also have a um. Behind me is, I have the, the little trailer, but it's all my like wagon wheels, so, yeah. It's that like... grip the road at all. Yeah, well, oh, you mean like the, like the train looking wheels? Do what? Yeah. Yeah, it's, they are legit, I think they're just metal wheels. I think they are too. They're met. Oh, here's, I found a flag. I found a, um... Uh, a cloaking area. The road goes literally right by it, so I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it real quick. We'll get up to here and like, God, I just, you know, it, and, and so many people say that like, oh, the game is like no fun without mods. I'm like, I disagree. It's like, it'll, it'll be, it will be less enjoyable in the long run. But yes. For now it's fun. But well, I'm saying what I'm saying though is like people are saying like I won't play it if there's no mods like immediately, and I'm like, give the stock trucks a chance because like that's part of a lot of like the challenge of it. I mean like when the tech demo came out a long time ago for the first game, like all we had were like an eight by eight and a UAZ, and that's all we didn't even think about mods. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I remember the tech demo. Those were. Days. Huh? I remember the like the original spin tires. Those were rough. Yeah. Well, remember yeah, how? You got a hold of it. Remember how like the terrain deformation? It, it was. It was like it was. It was kind of blocky. Yeah. Let me look at my. Oh, okay, I'm going the right way. Okay, I, I think. You made it to the garage. Yep. Holy crap, I must have taken the, like, see, I took the road, but
but man, the route I'm taking must have taken a like quite a bit longer because well, I mean, not only that, but like I can't go as fast with this semi trailer, but still, it's like whoa, you got there really, really fast. How'd you do that? I just hammered down, my dude. I just hammered down, my dude. <laughs> Is that what you do in your Miata? <laughs> oh hell yeah. yeah. And when when people are like, how does he, how's he keeping up with me? I just, I just hammer down, my dude. 24-7, <laughs> 20, that hammer is always on the ground. That's kind of how you have to drive it. <laughs> Wait, am I going the right way? Uh, yes. You better be. No, I'm going the right way. I, I just wanted to make, make sure, because there's this little, like, figure eight thing almost. Oh, you're not that far off, then. Well, no, see, I basically took a shortcut. yeah, I am, if I had to say, if I had to guess, if I look at the map again, like, let me get to a good, like, sp spot to stop and look at the map again, um, I would say, yeah, no, I'm, I'm really close, it should be, like, a straight shot from here, unless, I want to see somebody <laughs> plug this in the VR, oh, God, <laughs> That would be crazy, like VR spin tires. I, I Do what? I, I'm, I'm the one, the one, the one to get respect upon the street. <laughs> wow, that's not how that song goes at all, but okay. <laughs> but okay. Um, oh, dude, also, have you noticed that the fuel, so like if you look at your fuel in like, you know, the main screen and then you go inside the truck, that fuel gauge inside the truck is, is, is working. That's the exact same uh, fuel reading. Okay. All right. Awesome. So technically, when you get on the gas, the um, the battery. The yeah. Uh, thing moves. Yeah, the voltage gauge. Well, it's funny. Oh God! All right, this is gonna be this is gonna be a little crazy. This is really thick mud now, like stupid thick. May or may not need. Oh, yep, yep. I do. I do need a. Uh, I do need a winch. Have you used the quick winch yet? Yes. Well, you use it in the tutorial, but yeah. Do you like that yeah, idea? I that haven't used, I haven't used it in game yet. Like, do you like how they were like, yeah, we just make it easier to use, basically. Yeah, it's nice. It's more instant now. Yeah, well, and especially, too, if your truck is, like, where I think it's really going to come in handy is, like, if your truck is tipping over and you need to attach a winch to save it. Oh, God, I'm actually, speaking of that, my truck is tipping over. It didn't tip over, though. It came really dang close, but it didn't actually tip over. Oh, my God, that was insanely close. Like, ridiculously. Ridiculously close. All right, let's go. Dude. I, I, I will definitely, I will give a hand and clap to the creator of Spin Tires for making this. Who who was in control of this? Was this the same guy that created Spin Tires or? Yeah, no, no, this is the same dude, but it's the same dude, but a different publisher. Which, and the cool thing is now, he's, a, he's like, now he's allowed to like really explore his vision, like with all the resources, you know, like, to use to really explore what he wants to do with the game. And this is, like, what he came up with. Yeah. Which is good. I like where he went with it. Oh, yeah. Well, and see the crate that... I mean, they, they gave it something for the Xbox users. Like, all the kids that were screaming about, is this coming to the Xbox? Well, and see, to be fair... With a yes, and then he also brought it back to... It was like, well, it's got to be fair. Someone go ahead and make a new one. Oh my God, that's loud. Make a make one for Steam and PC, so we can, I guess, have a new revamp. I just, I just can't wait to see what the modding community is gonna do. That's gonna be awesome. Well, dude, there's a way to. They've already said like they're gonna just like, ha they're just gonna have a way for people to just straight up convert their mods right over. That's good. See, what was up? I, not a lot of people know about this, but uh, Crater Spin Tires originally hated mods. Oh, I, mm, I don't think it's that he hated mods. I just think that 
the modding community he, and him were just misunderstood. I remember him complaining something about, like, he didn't like the modding, modding of video games or something. He, he was, I remember him saying something like, it was like my work or whatever, not everybody else's. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I think, you know what I actually think that was? I think that was, like, actually crazy rumors that got started by just random people. Was but, it? yeah. I see the garage, though. I'm here. I took the long way, but I'm here. So, I'm not, I wasn't 100% sure. Did you That's wait? Awesome that he's doing that for what? I was gonna say. Now that you're, uh, you've been at the garage for a bit. Did you already like fit a log truck and leave? No, I was. I'm actually um, like a couple, like about a mile outside of it, just with uh, exploring back. I guess you'd call it the utility trailer or uh, the truck thing. Oh, the, the box truck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, let me go ahead and pull up, and this thing will be I'm ready to unload. A, a log trailer. I'm gonna do a medium log trailer. There we go. The bog settler. Got that. Sweet! So, that'll be... So, we've settled the bog. We've got our first garage unlocked. We'll pick this back up in the next episode. Um, but thank you guys for watching. We really do appreciate it. Um, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for all of the latest Spin Tires Mud Runner content as well as new games coming soon. And I will see you all next time. Talk to you guys later.